day 22. If you watched yesterday's video, it is tomorrow. And today's topic is, as I promised, forgiveness. So it's actually the 23rd of December today, but I'm making video 22. And uh, that is because I chose very consciously to not make a video on the 21st. So for that, I'd like to ask for forgiveness. Pardon me, I apologize. Now this word, forgiveness, is actually an extremely interesting word. It has become one of my favorite words. But you know, people, when we talk about forgiving, we kind of trigger this sensation of letting people off the hook at times, um, to pardon someone who has wronged us. But let's dive a little deeper, because for me, I've, I used to never use that word, forgiveness. I didn't like it, simply because I felt that you couldn't do anything wrong, truly. If it happened, it happened. And you could learn from it and gain tremendous benefit from developing yourself and become a better person, or you could choose to not. But at the core essence, you never do anything fundamentally wrong, because the nature, the law of nature has allowed it. Now, from a human perspective, we have strong judgments and we know what feels right and what feels wrong. And there are common threads of what we feel is wrong. And those things are the things we naturally want to um, either punish or ignore or forgive. So let's uh, look at this word, forgive, in a new sense, shall we? Uh, I'll describe it with a story because there and, and these people, one of the, these people I'm going to talk about may be watching this video. I, I think it's okay though. So I used to know a couple and um, these were people I would point to after having experienced them and say they betrayed me, they were thieves, you know. Uh, I, would, uh, I would not feel good about these people. I felt wronged. Um, I lost some things, you know, and I knew for a long time that, hey, these thought, thoughts are not good, although what they did may not be what I would have done, and I would certainly not recommend anyone to, uh, you know, steal. <laughs> um, but either way, I did not feel good. It felt really bad to think these thoughts and to have that experience so I knew I had to overcome it and it took actually this is one of the scenarios that took years for me to fully <clears throat> um, heal it took a couple of years or at least one and a half years and it get, got progressively progressively better because I chose to work with it and I thought I should forgive them, but it didn't feel right because I knew what they did was wrong. So I rather started to accept the universe as it is. And um, now though, I would say I would love to forgive them because I met them while I was celebrating this uh, Saturn-Jupiter conjunction that happens for the first time in 800 years, although it happens uh, a little bit more uh, often every 20 years or something. Um, but this was a very close conjunction on the 21st and we, we went to this beautiful place called the, the Bay of Paradise and we uh, sat in silence and uh, witnessed the sunset and all that. And uh, these, this couple was there. And it's a beautiful. The last time I met the guy, I had some resentment, but I had the strong intention to walk over and just let him know that I do not want to bear any harmful feelings to him anymore. But this time I felt totally different. I had completely let go. And all I wanted to do was to give. Did you know the wor word forgiveness, forgiving, has an origin in um, for can mean many different things. But in this case, it seems to mean completely. It can mean ahead of time, like before, you know. Uh, but it means completely and give is actually the word give. So it's to completely give. It can mean to be completely give up a, a negative feeling, but that's not the potential of this word. This word includes the potential of getting into your amazing MC Hammer vibe, you know, um, where you want to just give and nothing can touch you. You're untouchable because you give so much. All you want to do is to give. 
you have already found you because the source of who you are in my opinion in my experience is love it is a desire to give to bring benefit to the world to leave a footprint of love upon earth so when you found yourself you will naturally start to give and you'll start to forgive you will start to completely want to give uh, to people so what I did when I saw them was I, I tried like three times but it didn't happen energetically before right before I left almost uh, I, I brought this uh, thermos uh, thermos you know like a hot water container and uh, I had made some golden milk which is an amazing turmeric mix with uh, cinnamon and cardamom and pepper and some chili and just a delicious thing with rice milk heated up it's incredible um, so I brought this and I had brought small small shot glasses because I didn't have anything else and I shared it with people and I wanted so much to share with them just as a, and, and just as a symbol of, of the release I've gone through just as a symbol of my appreciation for all that they have taught me all that they have been and uh, they haven't necessarily taught me consciously but I think they have in some ways and I, I have learned to appreciate all of it because it has taught me so much to go through this. So forgiveness, learn to forgive and use the definition you so choose. There's a lot of great definitions if you search for them. If you search for forgive in a dictionary, you'll find a great amount of definitions. One of them though goes back to the source where it means to purely and completely give. Purely and completely give. When you do, you're untouchable. You know the source of life and you bring such a beautiful message to the world and you can't help but have a p p highly potentially positive influence on everyone you meet. That's it for now. I hope you enjoy tomorrow. It's Christmas here in Europe. In America, I guess it's the 25th. Um, wishing you all a wonderful Christmas.